I'm Africa Harrigan for The Legit Update. This is a weekly summary of meetings, hearings, and activities that takes place at the legislature. On Monday, December 2nd, was reserved for constituent meetings and office work. On Tuesday, December 3rd, on St. Thomas, the Committee on Finance, chaired by Senator Clifford F. Graham, met at the Earl B. Otley Legislative Hall on Tuesday, where they approved a lease agreement which will allow for the construction of six tennis courts in the estate Nazareth area. The lease agreement between the government of the Virgin Islands Department of Property and Procurement and the Virgin Islands Tennis Association Incorporated concerns a 100,000 square foot parcel of land near the armory located in the state Nazareth on St. Thomas. The measure was approved with a vote of four yeas and one absent. On Wednesday, December 4th, the Committee on Culture, Historic Preservation, Youth and Recreation has held a meeting to receive findings and propose solutions to the challenge of youth violence plaguing the Virgin Islands, as well as the crisis affecting young black men in our community. On Thursday, December 5th, was reserved for constituent meetings and office work. On Friday, December 6, the Committee on Economic Development, Agriculture and Planning has held a meeting to receive testimony on Bill No. 30-002, an act amending Title 27 Virgin Islands Code by adding Chapter 22, providing for the regulation of business promoters. Additionally, the committee will receive testimony concerning an update on the current broadband project. Coming up next week, the Committee on Rules and Judiciary has scheduled a meeting to receive testimony on the following nominations. Donna A. Fred Gregory, Commissioner of the Virgin Islands Department of Education, and David W. Knight Jr., Historic Preservation Commission of the St. Thomas St. John District. On Tuesday, December 10th, the Committee on Government Services and Housing has scheduled a meeting to receive testimony on several bills including Bill No. 30-0127, an act to amend Title III, Chapter 13, Section 221 of the Virgin Islands Code by requiring that the Virgin Islands Department of Property and Procurement procure services, materials, supplies, equipment, parts, and other operating tools for the government of the Virgin Islands within the territory, unless the local price is 30% higher than sources outside the territory. On Wednesday, December 11th, the Committee on Energy and Environmental Protection has scheduled a meeting to conduct a roundtable discussion on the following. BR 13-1086, Energy Omnibus Bill, and the amendment in the nature of a substitute to Bill Number 30-004. On Thursday, December 12th, the Committee on Rules and Judiciary has scheduled a meeting to receive testimony and to consider several bills including Bill No. 30-0109, an act amending Title 14, Chapter 24, Section 503 of the Virgin Islands Code by adding definitions of sexual conduct and sexual contact by amending Title 14, Chapter 85, Section 1699, adding a definition of sexual conduct and amending the definition of sexual contact. On Friday, December 13th, was reserved for constituent meetings and office work. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Africa Harrigan for The Legit Update.